Hello, my name is John Miner. I'm from Pay Near Me. I'm the Senior Vice President of Product and Marketing. Um, if folks are familiar with Vinovate, I'm not used to dressing this way when I've been at past Vinovate events. Um, I've been known to show up to some of these events in the past uh, wearing a sandwich board, um, or at other times, taking my shirt off on stage. Um, in fact, when I walked in this morning, one of the Finovate guys saw me carrying bags and he said, oh no, is that for your routine? I assure you that's not happening today. So what I'm here to talk about today is Pay Near Me, and Pay Near Me is an electronic cash transaction network. And so what that means is we, on one side of our network, we connect into uh, retailers such as Family Dollar and 7-Eleven, and on the other end, we hook up to thousands of businesses um, through multiple verticals to accept cash payments throughout our network. Um, so essentially what happens is a consumer can wind up with a barcode with cash and pay at a local retailer. Um, an example of this is Greyhound Bus. If you go to greyhound.com right now and say you want to travel to San Francisco, one of your checkout options will be cash. That's pay near me. You're able to actually walk in the store and get a full receipt, which is actually your bus ticket. I mean, this all usually happens in, in rather real time. And the problem we're trying to solve here is that when someone wants to be able to pay with cash, um, even possibly being technology savvy, they can't stick cash in a mobile screen or a smartphone. They can't send it in the mail in a secure, reliable way, and they can't put it into a computer screen. And so what we've tried to do is make it very easy for businesses um, of all sizes to be able to borrow cash registers on 18,000 live corners today throughout Family Dollar and 7-Eleven. So we often get asked why this matters. It's not always known to folks, but 28% of Americans are under-underbanked today. Um, and that means they transact without a, a bank account or a credit card or use alternate financial services. Um, this accounts for over a quarter million of Americans. And it's not just an under bank to pay with cash. There's also folks who just prefer to pay with cash for privacy reasons or just have stopped trusting in the financial institutions around the world. And so with Pay Near Me and the Transaction Network, while it's the piece that connects Pay Near Me up with retailers is extremely important in what we do. Um, we've actually just learned a lot with respect to being able to provide businesses of all sizes to connect up to the platform. And so what we've had to do is outside of the retailer connections, we've actually had to build a pretty robust platform that allows several components to be able to service businesses across such a wide range of verticals. So outside of just having the retailer networks, can you imagine with cash, compliance is very important. So we've had to build out pretty sophisticated compliance engines. Pricing, variability, and funding, it's all over the place depending on who you talk to in the underbank market and cash preferred. We need to provide multiple integration options to make life easier for our merchants and a better consumer experience so they don't have to worry about a decision tree when they're integrating in with Pay Near Me. And so while we've been at this for five years, we've, we've learned a lot of lessons. Um, we're Silicon, Silicon Valley startup, um, and while a lot of payment folks come out of this space, we started where everyone else did. We're a rail shop, and we said, well, let's do everything real time. Um, the world is ready for APIs and integration. We quickly realized that wasn't the case. Um, compatibility with legacy systems became a really important thing for Pay Near Me. So we had to take a part of our network that we thought just had to be real time and actually back up and make it batch processing. So at Pay Near Me, we offer emergency ability to have a, oops, sorry. And so each one of these verticals, essentially, we have to send data to businesses of all sorts that require data formats in all different types. Um, this could vary down to the merchant across the different verticals. And so we're sending data about payment information, reporting information. It's all going to vary by vertical. And so what we've done is we built a report generator. And what this report generator allows us to do is use non-engineering resources on the Pay Near Me side to come in and configure these file types. You should see some file types we get pretty antiquated. And so what we've done is we've created is this a simple syntax language that lets folks actually tell us what the naming convention has to be, what the data fields have to be, when it needs to be sent, and how it needs to be sent. So as an example, we now let our merchant services group go in and configure this so that businesses of all sizes can get this data sent back and forth. They don't need to do an integration. Um, we're able to send the file, schedule it when it needs to be sent, and determine how it's going to get there. Another early lesson we learned is that integration into existing platforms may not always be required. We have integrations into many uh, platform providers today, such as Appfolio and Property Management and Kubra. Um, however, we also learned that a lot of businesses out there were okay with using a standalone product. So we built a product called Pay Me for Business that let businesses simply come, sign up, this is live today, um, and register with Pay Me. We do a quick compliance check, and then they're right in an application. When they get in this application, they can start sending barcodes to consumers, invoicing them, send recurring payments, and add different users to the system. We also let them customize it pretty deeply. We make it feel like their own, use some pretty imagery, 
and let them actually put in the required fields to actually let the consumer create their, finish their end payment. And the last lesson we learned is development tools are important as documentation. And so we built out an environment to try to ensure the fact that when developers are coming to use Pay Near Me, that they have as many tools available as they do documentation. In some cases, I'm, most people actually would rather use tools and not read the documentation. So we've created a ability for a developer to come in and build an application so they can come in, they can actually choose one of our options. I'm gonna choose working with our embedded form and I'll click on the option here. And so as a developer now, I can come in here, I can see the parameters required to call in the pay near me. I'll see the URL that gets constructed. I'll put in a payment amount. You'll see the URL there. I'll actually click on the button. And there's my option. So I literally can now take this URL, I can embed this URL into my web screen, and I can choose a cash payment. I can see the flow. I can also see my code examples here available for me to use. It's that easy.